Hi, I'm Bruce Asher, and this video we're exploring the interface in Cubase. Let's start by adding a track. I'm going to add an audio track. And the first thing to note is you'll see that you have this left-hand zone, and this provides various information about the track in question. We can look at these in more detail later on in the video. Clicking up here on the right, you'll see that you actually open this other window, this zone, so-called right zone. It's split into various zones here, and the tabs allow you to navigate through the various areas. Here you can see that you can actually information about virtual instruments, media, so instruments, effects, loops, presets and so on. The control room which has advanced functionality to allow routing of audio to performers and setting up cue mixes and things like that and metering as well. I'm just going to hide that for the moment. Also relevant is this little tab, this little button here which actually loads the lower zone and the tabs along the bottom allow you to choose what it shows and probably the most useful one here is the mix console so we have actually a reduced feature set mixer window which is associated with a track you set you've actually selected you can also access editors um, for midi editing and audio editing uh, and the sampler track which allows you to actually drag audio and actually create uh, a sampler based track all of these we'll actually detail uh, later on the thing to bear in mind here is that Cubase is extremely customizable. So I can right click on many areas of the interface and show and hide various aspects. Um, I've reset everything in these videos so that you actually get a sense of how it would look uh, as a def default setup, but occasionally I'm going to dip in and actually use uh, some of these uh, settings to actually show things that you wouldn't normally see. So this is the project window, and this is where you will see events when you record them, and you can use it for moving events around and clicking on for editing. The other thing to point out is that although you can see most of these things from the main window, you also have the menus along the top, which allow you to access more advanced functionality in terms of specific editors and things like that. Cubase, like many other audio workstations, is based on a linear workflow. So events, when you press play, you'll be seeing the this line here moving through the project and actually playing the events which occur underneath it. You also have the toolbar along the top which allows you to access various tools. Along the bottom you have a transport bar which allows you to play and record and you also have various functions which allow you to drop in to record at certain points and also to determine how the project will loop. In this video we looked at the layout of Cubase we looked at the project window, the various zones, we accessed some of the menus and how when you're adding a track you can access the mixer and editors.